Hello guys, welcome back to the, another tutorial. And in this video, we are going to learn how to create syslog server in Red Hat Linux for both the IPv4 and IPv6 versions. So this is my two Red Hat machines, which of them one is server and one will be the client. So let's take a look at that host name. This one is my server, and this one. will be my client. These are the IP addresses. 10.0.0.2 is the IP address of my client and 10.0.0.1 is the IP address of my server. And I have entered the entries of both server and client into the host file so that they can resolve by name. As you can see that 10.0.0.2 to his client and I have done the same thing on this client machine so let's get started with the RSS log configuration to do to set up the uh, RSS log server you need to modify files on the machines so to do that run the following command go to this path rsyslog.conf in etc press enter and then find these two lines provides UDP reception and provides TCP reception uh, basic uh, belonging to your needs you can specify the UDP or TCP we are going to take both of them so uncomment both the lines remove the hashtag before them and then save it now, we have to allow this traffic to pass through the firewall. To do that, you have to run this command. These are the commands that we are going to run for the both TCP and UDP. Select all. All right. So now the, our logs will be passed by the firewall. Now go to your client side and go to your syslog con file and at the end of the file you will find this line that remote host is and here is the example how you're going to write the, your syslog server's name so we have resolved the host names so we are going to write start at start double at the rate here double at the rate means the TCP traffic and single at the rate means the UDP traffic I'm going to provide my host name and then the port number and then save them. Now we have configured the server and the client so we need to restart our syslog services. Do the same thing on the server. Now we are going to start monitoring here by following command tail hyphen f slash war slash log messages. See that we are going to receive the messages or logs in here. Hey there, this is server. You can see that the messages received from the server. Now we are going to test it from the same, but on the client side. Let's check on the output. See that there is a log of the client in here. So we have tested the RSS log server for IPv4 versions. And now we are going to take a look at the IPv6 version. So for IPv6, I have assigned the following IP addresses. This is my IPv6 address. We're going to test the ping to another machine. Okay, the ping is successful. And in here, 
we're going to test it. Okay, the ping is working. Now we are going to change the host file for IPv6. Here is only one entry for the IPv4, but we are going to make another entry for the IPv6 2001. That's my server's IP address. So now we can communicate with the host name. All right. Do the same on server side. That's my client's IP address. Okay. Now we're going to check the access lock server if it is working or not. It will work because we have entered the host name in the syslog configuration file I can show you that here you can see that I have mentioned the host name instead of IP address so it will resolve and then we can check the logs okay so we're going to check the logs Okay, so now my IPv4 is disabled. As, as you can see, that there is only one IP address, IPv6, and we are going to check it by logger hey IPv6. And let's check it. So, as you can see, that there is a message received from the client side that hey either I'm at IPv6 we're going to test another message hey IPv4 has been this right so see that you have received message from the client that IPv4 has been disabled so that means our syslog server has been configured properly 